Hey everybody, so we just finished the Hurricane Milton. Okay, this is two days after. And we just had Helene a couple of weeks back. And it's been a crazy situation in Florida. And I had a chance to talk to a lot of my clients and my past clients. And a lot of them are saying they're gone. They're, they're leaving Florida. Um, you can even say some of them between these two storms and maybe a couple others for some people, you know, they have PTSD, you know, just like, um, you know, post-traumatic stress disorder. I mean, it was bad. It, it wasn't, um, you know, Milton was more in my area of a surge thing, but Milton was more in my area of a wind thing. And still today, a lot of people don't have power. Um, street lights are out. They're still flooding around. And so I'm, I'm making phone calls to make sure my clients are good, making sure their houses are good if they need anything. And they're saying, you know what, Jimmy, we're done. We thought Florida was going to be for us, but it, it's, it's really not. And I wrote down, I say, I asked them, you know, what are some of the reasons? And that's what we're going to talk about today. Some of the reasons why they're like, yes, it's hurricanes. But now you got to top, you know, other reasons behind it. So I want to tell you some of the stuff that people were telling me the reason why they were leaving. And towards the end of this video, I'm going to give you one of the big reasons that even me and, you know, my family were talking about, you know, reasons why, you know, if we would ever move out of Florida. Do me a favor before we get started, consider subscribing. It really helps out the channel, really motivates me and it motivates Bell. And it's greatly appreciated more than you guys know. And um, that's it. I'll leave it at that. So one of the biggest things, too, is some of these people that are moving, their homes just got destroyed. All right. They they got destroyed. They didn't. It's not livable anymore. They got three, four feet of water in there. And some of them didn't even have flood insurance. So to rebuild on some of these houses is just not worth it, especially since they rebuilt from a, a hurricane that we had about a year, a year and a half ago. So they're like, Jimmy, we just finished rebuilding. We finished the house about six months ago. All new drywall, all new furniture, all new everything. And now we got flooded again. So... I kind of agree with him that. Is it worth rebuilding? If you got flooded twice in a short period of time, and that's to me, that's, you know, a few years, you're going to get flooded again. And I wouldn't rebuild. I, I probably, I wouldn't rebuild because I, I, it's like playing Russian roulette. You just know, don't know when you're going to get hit with a hurricane again, and you're going to have to go through it all again. It's just, it's ridiculous. You know, and people can't afford just to knock down their house and then build another one right there. And especially with today's codes, you know, on stilts, it would have to be like 18 feet up in the air. But that's one of the reasons they're like, hey, we're out of Florida because of that. Another one, you know, they said last time, you know, last year when we had a hurricane and they, they didn't get power on for months, some of them, because it was so devastated, you know. They, they purposely shut down the power and everything so people don't get electrocuted, and especially in people's houses when they're flooded, the outlets are underwater. If the breaker box is not underwater, you still should get an electrician in there to make sure your house is safe because once the outlets are underwater, you really have to replace all the outlets. So now try getting a carpenter in there, electrician in there. Try, try to get people just to be able to go to your house, even if you have the money and have them repair the stuff. These people are months behind. Like I have contacts with electricians and plumbers and all that stuff. And even for me, I'm having a hard time getting them to help me take care of a couple of things that I personally need done. One of the big reasons why people are saying we're done is anxiety. They're having a lot of anxiety. It's, it's traumatic when you have a hurricane and you lose your personal stuff, just think about it. You know, I hope it never happened to any of you watching this, but say you go home one day and everything you have in the house is just gone. 
okay? It's just gone. You, you just have the clothes on your back, you know, and maybe you still have your car, okay? It's traumatic. It's like starting over. And a lot of these people can't afford to rebuild just like that. It, it's just, and if, they, if they're able to rebuild, they don't want to take a chance again. They, they just, they don't. They're like, they're going to be all nervous. They're going to be all traumatic. They're all going to be stressed every year because, oh, hurricane season is starting. You know, it, it's starting. And, and now we, we have to worry about hurricanes and people are glued to the TV, you know, <laughs> looking at the weather. And if they hear of a tropical depression, they're like in a panic saying, you know, are we going to have a hurricane? Are we going to get wiped out again? People, especially as you get older, and you don't have a lot of money, do you really want to deal with that? I don't want to even deal with that. So, you know, like I made sure, listen, there's no safe place in Florida, okay? And I know I live in Florida, but when I bought my house, I really, really checked out if I'm in a flood zone or not. Um, I did my research. I, I go back as far as I can. I talk to the neighbors, you know, because I don't want to deal with it every year. But even I get stressed out when there's a hurricane heading towards us. And this last one, Helene and Milton, they both stressed me out. They really, really did. And maybe it's not worth it. Maybe it's not worth it. And it's, and it's a good time to leave Florida and go someplace where, I mean, every place has natural disasters. Don't get me wrong. I know people are going to come and say, hey, you go to California, you could have earthquakes, you could have wildfires. You know, you go to Northeast, you could have blizzards, you know, go out to the plains, you have tornadoes. I understand all that. But in Florida, it's more that you know you're going to have a hurricane every year. And I'm not saying they're more frequent, but it, it definitely feels like that they're more frequent. And they feel more powerful. Like this last one, Milton, nobody, I, I'm telling you, I talk to a lot of people, we were just talking about tropical depression, tropical depression. And next thing we know, it's becoming a cat four, cat five. Imagine it didn't downgrade to a cat three and hit Tampa Bay. What would have happened? People just don't. It's too much traumatic stress when it comes to that. So uh, some of the people are telling me it's just it's the financial strain. Like I was telling you before, they can't afford to rebuild. They can't afford the insurance and some insurance companies might say, you know, what? we're not going to insure you anymore. You've had two floods in a short period of time. We're not going to insure you anymore. And now you have a mortgage because you have a mortgage. You have to get insurance because the mortgage company is going to require it. So, so what are you going to, what are you going to do? There's nothing you can do. You have to pay what they want. And you think people could afford to pay a thousand dollars a month for homeowners insurance? They, they they really can't. You know they, they can't uh, they can't afford to to do that. It's becoming stupid. Uh, that's a good word. It, it's becoming stupid just to dealing with insurance in Florida. Like insurance, homeowners insurance, in a lot of other states. Not all the states. You know, California is expensive. Some other states are expensive too. But in a lot of states, it's an afterthought. I'm going to go buy a house. You know, and right before the close, oh, yeah, I, you need insurance. Okay, let me call an insurance broker or let me call them and, you know, get insurance. In Florida, it can't be an afterthought. It really can't. You have to think about insurance before you even make an offer on the house. You really, really do. Because you might be paying more for insurance than you're paying for taxes or even maybe even your mortgage. Don't make insurance buying in Florida an afterthought. Those, those days are over with. This other couple told me they haven't flooded. I said, that's great. You didn't flood. Yep. They're like, Jimmy, we didn't flood, but we're leaving. I'm like, why? They said, because we have medical conditions. Okay. And it's hard for us to travel. And because we have zones here, A, B, C, D, I think E, something like that. And they're in a zone A, which always gets evacuation. They're like, we always get the orders to evacuate and we don't have family around. So what we have to do is we have to go pack everything up. We have animals, you know, 
we have to go to a shelter, we have to figure out transportation, stress is too much for us. They're like, we can't, even though they said we love our house, we love the location, and we don't flood, but we can't afford to evacuate all the time like we have been. It's, 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 it's too much for us, especially because we're older and we have medical conditions and all our animals and everything. It's not worth it to us. We're going to sell and we're going to leave. And I'm going to tell you guys where a lot of them are telling me where they're moving to. So this other couple and their family, they're not in the flood zone. So I said, all right, cool. I said, did you get any damage? They're like, no, not really. You know, we lost a couple of screens. I was like, all right, good. But we're, we're, we're moving out of Florida. I'm like... All right. I was like, did you get hit by any other hurricanes before? Like, no. They're worried about the Florida economy overall. They think that between all these hurricanes, you know, that people will pull out of Florida, move away, and it'll depress the prices of real estate. I don't know if that's going to happen. I think people will always move to Florida, especially the ones that could afford it. Um, but they're worried about the Florida economy and the housing market and insurance and taxes and just everything. What's going to happen to Florida after these wallops? You know, and they're just like, we're just going to go to a more stable state that every year we don't have to worry about this kind of stuff. So nothing happened to them, but it's still these hurricanes were enough to still get them to leave. I talked to this uh, elderly gentleman, really, really nice guy. He's really, really funny. And he's like, yeah, I'm leaving. I'm going to go with family. Um, he says, I'm just, he says, he says, Jimmy, I'm just freaking exhausted. I'm exhausted. I'm sick of watching the weather channel and seeing what's going on and these hurricanes and talking about storms. And he goes, I'm just exhausted over it. He says, I have family up in Georgia and, you know, obviously Georgia and North Carolina and South Carolina got hit with Helene too. But he says that area that he's going to go to, it, it didn't get hit as much. And, but he's just, he says, I'm exhausted. I'm done. He says, I'm older. I just want to settle. And I thought Florida was going to be it. You know, I could go enjoy it. But, you know, worrying about hurricanes every year, not for me. He says, I'm out of here. I could keep going and telling you reasons why these people are saying, and, but here's, here's the big point, okay? Here's, here's the big point. It's not like one out of 10 are saying, hey, you know what? Maybe Florida is not for me. I moved here and this was tr too traumatic for me. This is their first hurricane season. Um, it wasn't one out of 10. It was like, five out of 10, or maybe even six out of 10 that are thinking about leaving. So I'm like, one out of 10, I could, I could definitely see that, you know, people just move because they want to move. But this was such a big impact and so traumatic for some people, these hurricanes that they're like, no, you know what? I've been here two, three years. I'm going back to the Northeast. I'm going to deal with snow, blizzards, at least with snow and blizzards, you don't have to, you know, you have to worry about some stuff, but not as much as a hurricane or tornadoes, you know, because we had a bunch of tornadoes here spawn or spawn out. But it's it's a rough, rough situation, you know, and then just like I couldn't believe how many people were telling me that they're, you know, they're thinking about leaving Florida. So is there going to be a mass exodus of Florida? My opinion is initially people are going to be talking about it. I think some of them will leave, but I think as time goes on, it'll be less and less on their mind. And when things get back to normal until next hurricane season and then next hurricane season, when we're actually going to get hit by a hurricane. But the people that got devastated from this one along the West coast of Florida on the Gulf, this is going to be traumatic for them for months, maybe even years. It's, it's not going to be like they're going to be rebuilt within a week or a month or two months from now. I, this damage is extensive. Here's some videos just to give you guys and show you guys what some of this damage looks like. It's, it's, it's crazy. 
Um, I think that some values are going to drop and I think that investors are going to come in and they're going to buy a lot of these ranches or a lot of these destroyed homes and they're going to buy them pennies on the dollars. They're going to knock them down and they're going to build multi-million dollar homes with on stilts that can withstand these hurricanes, at least for now. I think that's what's going to happen. I think there's going to be investors. I think a lot of people are going to walk away from their homes and these homes that are sitting on the ground in flood prone areas that can get damaged from hurricanes and stuff or are already destroyed. Those are going, those homes are going to be gone. I think the whole landscape of Florida housing along the coast is going to be totally different. I think when you guys come visit Florida five years from now, you're going to see all these houses on stilts and that's what I think is going to happen. Anyways, that's today's video. Do me a favor. Why don't you guys tell me what you guys think? You know, what, what do you think? Are you guys having, if you guys were here during these hurricanes in Florida, tell me what you, what you guys feel, what you guys impressions are. What do you think is going to happen to Florida and, you know, going forward? Again, do me a favor, consider subscribing. It really helps out the channel and it's greatly appreciated. And we'll talk to you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.